Okay, look straight into the camera. Ooh, you look very wolf-like. Take a thick foundation and a foundation brush or a concealer brush. You're just gonna cover up red areas of the skin. Take a big foundation brush and blend it all together. Then you're gonna take some powder and set the entire foundation with a, a giant fluffy brush and lots of powder all over the face. Like that. Yep, you're done. <laughs> Just kidding. This will set that concealer. And now you are done priming the face, ready for the makeup. Now you're gonna take a white cream foundation and the same brush, but you have to clean it up. Dip it in there. Just white like that. You're gonna start around the eyes. Dab it in the color. Kind of in a triangle form, right under the eye. Be gentle around the eyes, because they're very, very sensitive. Get the white underneath the nose, also in a triangle shape. She kind of looks like a clown right now, but that's okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You look great. <laughs> I know. And then you're also going to put this white also in a triangle form, like a V right in between the brows. And then blend upward. You have the basic shading of the wolf face. So just blend that white color down. Blend, blend, blend. Blending is key for this look. Once you put the general shape down, I want you to take a wedge like this and then do some extra blending. Now take a black cream color with the same foundation brush. Also clean it again, of course. Dip it in a little bit. Start to make a V shape along the side of her face. Make it more prominent and dark towards the hairline. And then blend it down and fade it to a gradient when you get towards the center of the face. You can just do it really messily because you will use that wedge again. Make it dark at the hairline and then blend it towards the face. Make sure that it's even between both sides. Take the wedge again and then blend it towards the hairline so there's no skin gap between the hair and the black shading that you're doing. Do the same thing at the very top of the forehead. The sponge again, and what do you know? We're blending! You can see that this cream foundation is a little splotchy and you can still see a little skin color. So what you're gonna do, take a big brush like this, dip it in some black eyeshadow, and then just cover that cream foundation. And just like the cream foundation, make it dark towards the hairline and then fade it out when you go towards the center of the face. Mm -hmm. 
Same with the white. Take a white eyeshadow. Put it on the white cream shadow. And then blend it towards the black. The middle color should be somewhat gray. Obviously, because, you know, if you ever took art class, black and white make gray. See, you learned something today. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm going to take a little bit of a dark gray eyeshadow and use it as a contour color. So suck in your cheeks. And just buff it in there. Same thing on the other side. Now we're going to work on the eyes, taking that same black cream foundation, or you can use an eyeliner, but I like using a brush and this cream foundation. I find using this easier to work with than eyeliner. We're going to fill in the entire lid, and then what I want you to do is make a point right here, and then also make a point at the outer edge of the eye. Now if you're not comfortable with going ahead and starting to do this, you can always take some eyeshadow and try to draw the line before you make it thicker with the eyeliner. Because if you mess up, eyeshadow is so much easier to remove than eyeliner. Do the same thing with the other eye. Taking the same eyeliner brush and the cream foundation, cover the nose black. you have a cute little button nose. Then you're gonna draw a straight line down the middle, just like that. Yay, look at that. You have a snout. Tiny little dots. For the lip, cover the entire top lip with white. And then the bottom lip is going to be eh. black, because I said so. You can take a white eyeliner, or you can take just the cream foundation again that's in white. Take an eyeliner brush, get it all up in there. Whee! Load that brush and make sure that when you load that brush, that brush is completely thin. Like that. Thin brush. What you're gonna do is make some strokes. And you're gonna start at the center of the forehead right here and go upwards like that. Capiche? Okay. And then around the main white lines, just use the leftover of whatever's on that brush just to get in between those and draw faint white lines. Now taking the black, you're going to do the same thing in between the white. Once again, use whatever's left over on the brush. Make faint lines. 
lines in between and then what you're gonna see is that there's gonna be a gray line that you've created taking that white eyeliner and that white foundation again again make your brush super flat look up and then you're gonna line underneath that black line you did super thin line And then with the same white eyeshadow, and you're going to take a gray, a tiny bit of gray, and then add a little contouring. If you want to, you can make the same stripes that you did up there along the sides of the face. Just make them go downwards. But I think I just like it on the forehead like that. This is my completed wolf. 